Assalamu alaikum. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a, a username password authentication in JavaFX using JDBC connection. And this video is a on request video. Uh, Gabriel, one of my viewers, uh, requested me to make this video. So let's get started. So, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, give our username here and password here, and we are going to click login and it will pop up. Uh, text that uh, user locked in successfully or user uh, logging fail so let's do this let's first delete this and uh, the project file what i am using here is uh, the same one uh, java tutorial java db connection uh, this uh, project file will be available in our link in our in the description so let's do this let's delete this field so that i can start from beginning and if you are new in this tutorial series uh, and, and you, you are thinking what is this you don't have to worry about this uh, these are for another uh, tutorial i made previously uh, so just uh, stay with me and uh, if you are following this tutorial series you know about this so first we need what we need a uh, text field let's give a text field here one text field copy it and paste it another so this will be our username prompt text username and this will be our password field and we need a button this will be my button and i'm going to name this uh, button login so we need to give ids of this uh, text field and button so give um, username id so in code just write username and password user password and in logging just in on on action right uh, method suppose login so save it and upload your uh, update your fxml so here uh, uh, this uh, this uh, sample uh, fxml is connected to this controller uh, sorry uh, yes uh, this controller so we need to initiate initialize this field username password and this login on action method so uh, these are two uh, field uh, for this is for username and this is for password and uh, we are going to write the uh, code here in logging so that we can uh, just connect with our database so to connect with the database first um, let's first create our data database table this is my PHP my admin and this is my tutorial I if you don't know uh, here in our connection class I uh, have write um, this uh, tutorial so let's go so uh, let's scale table the table name would be user auth authentication give id and make it auto increment and username password save it so we have a Ignore. So we have a table name, username, and uh, this has three column right ID, username, and password. In uh, user auth, right? Uh, so when we click this uh, login, we need to connect with this um, uh, auth, uh, user auth table. So let's give a connection. If you if you are following this video series, you know that uh, in connection class we have made a connection. So all I need to do is um, uh, call this connect, uh, get connection. So make a get connection. Um, let's first create a object of a connection class. Connection class. Connection class. New connection class. And make connection of connection object connection 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 class dot get connection so when i call this get connection uh, it will return it will return me a connection uh, connection object here 
you can see I am returning connection object so it will return me a connection object and connection object will be saved in this variable so let's create a we need to create a statement to execute our SQL query so make a statement 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 connection dot create a statement so it will we have to write we have to handle exception so we have a, a statement so now we can uh, connect with our uh, database so to I forget to make a label here so that we can we get to know that we are connected or disconnected so make a level so this is a level so is connected give an ID of this level is I'm giving it is connected sorry so save it reload it and make a uh, initiate it this is, is connected this is our level so we need to make a SQL so a string SQL to check if uh, the value we give here are uh, is the same value uh, what we have in our database we first need to give a value in our database so let's give a input in our uh, database so let's give a input here insert id okay username Thorab, this is my name and password maybe Thorab. Okay, sorry, I made a. I need to change the database structure. I made a mistake here. I here I have uh, give the username a uh, in type, so this is not going to work because username needs to be in text or varchar or char. So let's change it. Make it butcher give 100 maybe save and password butcher make it 100 so now we can insert value here I'm going to give my name Thorab and password for T. So go. So if you if you go there, is also is We are going to see Thorab and password. Here, uh, you can uh, here in password field. I have used text field. You can use password field. If you, if you go there, you can see this this password field. You can also use this password field. Let's use this instead of password. Just give password field and then the same so reload it and it is fine so we have a uh, now we need to write the SQL select select from user user auth where na username equals to equals to so uh, our password fee username field is this so just write this get text and password don't forget to give apostrophe here password password dot get pa get text 
So give a plus sign and complete the SQL. So now we need to create a result set for storing the value. So result set result set is equals to statement dot execute query and pass the SQL variable here. So if our result set is not null, the set dot next is not null. That means uh, user uh, give the right username and user password. So here uh, I have changed these into um, password field. I in at first we I use text field. Now I have, uh, give it to a password field. This password field. So here I have to uh, make this user uh, password to password field. So uh, okay. So if our result set is uh, not null, that means user give the user uh, right username and right password. So it will uh, our label is, is connected. So make the is connected level uh, set text connected or else not connected. So let's run this. So here you can see if I give Thorab here and T here it will show connected and if I give wrong information it will show me not connected. So thank you everyone, thank you for watching and thank you.